This video will show a laser of perianal intraepithelial neoplasia grade 3 at the University of Arizona. The patient has previously had CIS of the vulva and has had both labia minora removed. The clitoris has been spared. The urethra is normal. The vaginal opening has had laser destruction as evidenced by the tanning effect with the pigmentation at the edge of the laser scar. This is the appearance of the anus with some acetic acid being placed. There is a hyperkeratotic lesion and some acetyl white. Um, on the left. On the right, the acetyl white has a definite border and uh, the hyperkeratosis, who we can see, has a small fissure. The keratotic uh, area is more defined after the use of the acetic acid. I will place a lidocaine with epinephrine under the skin to produce a water barrier and to flatten the skin surface. I will set the laser dot to one millimeter and the laser power to 10 watts. Outline the edges to be lasered. The laser should just penetrate to the dermis, not into the subcutaneous fat. Adjust the dot size or the watts if needed to control the depth of the tissue vaporization. After outlining the lesion, I am now using my hand to move the patient's uh, perianal tissue instead of moving uh, the toggle on the laser head. This allows you to use both hands to expose the tissue. After the first pass of the laser, the char is removed and the first surgical plane is the papillary dermis. The epidermis is lifted off and we're at the papillary dermis. Some of the tissue may have little buds of remaining PAIN. So I will pass the laser again over the papillary dermis layer to reveal the reticular dermis layer. I will still not be into the subcutaneous fat. This is the appearance of the second surgical plane. It has a chamois cloth yellow appearance to it. We'll now go to the patient's right side and see mosaic blood vessels and upper edge of the lesion. First, I will destroy the rest of the hyperkeratotic plaque that was uh, around 11 o'clock. Then I'll outline the upper edge of the acetyl white with mosaic lesion. Here I am using the toggle on the laser head to move the laser beam. Now I'm moving the patient's tissue and not moving the laser toggle.
after using the laser on this first pass down to the papillary dermis. We peel away the char and we can see the papillary buds of the underlying papillary skin. Now pass the laser a second time to get to the second surgical plane. This will be the chamois cloth appearance of the reticular dermis. By preserving uh, some of the underlying dermis, the epidermis will migrate faster and heal faster and there will be less pain for the patient. There will be discomfort for the first seven to ten days. Some topical lidocaine that may help and some silvadine cream. And pass the laser once more over the thicker hyperkeratotic area, which might have some hair follicles. Now see the faint aceto white of the other side. I think is normal. I will not laser that. 